Broad applaud of technique number two. Lay down for me. Yesterday we did one from the triangle. Today we're going to do one from mount, yeah? But you basically end up in the same position as, as the triangle one. It's going to be similar to hitting a triangle from the top, from, from the mount, um, just with a variation. Broad plata is just a shoulder lock. Plata means shoulder in Portuguese, so anything that has plata in it, oma plata, trico plata, etc. This all means shoulder lock, yeah? So we're here, okay? We're going to stuff one hand down, all right? Whichever side, doesn't matter. I want to get it down by my groin, all right? This move's always going to work best when you get their hand down by your groin because you've got to trap their hand underneath, underneath the groin. So I'm going to take my outside hand. So I push down with both hands, trap it. Take my outside, outside hand, swim it through, hook the wrist, okay, with the one hand. Now, like I'm setting up a triangle, I'm either going to stuff this one into, into his chest or stuff it out, either way, okay? And I'm going to swing my leg over, but instead of swinging it for a triangle, I'm going to swing it all the way around to the same side. Once I get it to the same side as the, the arm that I have trapped, I weave through and I grab my own thigh, okay? Then I'm going to grab his head and I'm going to roll that way. He's probably going to come up to his knees because he doesn't like this. And I'm going to put this foot on his hip, okay? Now, if you were here yesterday, you recognize this position, right? It's the Brada Plata position. So to finish the submission, I'm going to push off my foot. I'm going to underhook his shoulder and I'm going to rotate this way, okay? Puts a really weird locking pressure on your shoulder. Make sure when you're doing this with your partner that you don't go fast. And when you're doing it in the live roll, give the guy a chance to tap and even like let him know that he's in it because some people don't recognize this and they won't know that they're in a submission until their shoulder tears, yeah? So we want to be careful with that. Yeah, <laughs> great, awesome, Nate, thanks. So we're going to shove one arm down, wrist control. Other arm comes in from the outside, hooks the wrist, okay? Stuff this arm, step all the way over. Grab your own leg, okay? So I'm coming in from the outside to the inside. Then I'm going to fall that way, cup the head and bring him with me. Okay, he comes up with me. This foot goes right to the hip. This hand comes underneath the shoulder and then I just rotate. And I'm moving my whole body that way. I'm using the underhook to pull, using my foot to push, and I'm trying to bring his elbow to his opposite ear. Okay. Uno mas. <clears throat> we'll try the other side. So we stuff down, we come through, we get the hook, okay? Same thing. I'm going to step all the way over, grab, grab my own thigh, grab the head, roll through, foot on the hip, okay? This leg here, I want to try to kind of point that way. And then I'm going to underhook and move my torso that way. So you're moving his elbow to his opposite ear. Okay. I'm tapping, man. Okay. <laughs> All good? Do you want to see it on anybody? Just once. once. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Not me, coach. So we're in the mount. Okay. We stuff it down near our groin. We reach out. We hook it with one hand. We pin this arm. We step all the way over. We weave our leg into the, uh, into the, uh, on top of our thigh. We cup the head and we push and we roll. Foot on the hip. Underhook the arm. And then we just keep going until, just keep shifting your body towards the far side until they tap. Good. Let's run it. One, two, three. 